Hi Virgo. So I'm here to do the last half of November's energy read for yourselves. Uh, we are coming up to the Gemini full moon, which is lunar eclipse on the 30th. Um, so I do feel like that's going to have major effects on people's readings and well within yourself. Um, what I will say before I start my video is if you notice my left eye closing, I've been under a lot of stress recently and this side of my face starts to get affected when I'm stressed. Um, so it's not that I'm going bog out or anything like that. So you might see me keep, because I can feel it doing it. Um, I am available for personal readings. Everything will be in the description box below on my website. There is a PayPal link for donations towards the channel. Uh, I want to say thank you to everyone who's donated any amount to the channel. It really helped. Um, and that's it, really. Uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. Um, every little helps. I'm trying to get out there a little bit more. So I'm just going to jump straight into the Virgo reading. So let's have a look what's the energy has got for Virgo for the last half of November, please. So sacrifice is something you need to let go of. So it's like sinking sand. You know, the more you fight and kick, the more the deeper you go down. It's about letting things go. Allowing the divine to bring in the chakra colours, you know, to pull you out. So there's something you need to let go of. The challenge, the light, the sun. Let go and be happy. So I feel like this is more emotional. This is more both major arcana. This is something within yourself that you need to let go of. So it could be something from the, from the past. Uh, the way you look at yourself, the way you love yourself, you know, well, not the way you love yourself, but maybe that feeling unworthy, there's a need to let go um, and be happy with who you are, heal, let the sun shine in, you know, let the light come in. Why is it coming around now from the Virgos? Rest and rejuvenation. So... You could be overthinking a lot about yourself, about your life, about how you've been living, about what you want in the future. It's time to become more present. If you don't meditate, I highly suggest you do meditate. You are an earth sign. It is all about being grounded. We are coming in. We've just had the Scorpio uh, new moon, water, emotions. Then we're going into the air. We're going into Gemini full moon, which is a lunar eclipse. So it's quite strong. So water and air. Tur quite turbulent we need to get you back into your earth grounded um it is the four so it's about stability feeling stable again so there could be like feeling an instability within the mind so it's time to relax and rejuvenate the mind meditation practices yoga anything that you know feels that you're grounded so our recent past we've got prosperity begins so it, it, that is about being grounded and stuff like that but it's, it's also about having people you are sowing the seeds for a new future. And I, I don't feel like you're actually seeing the fruits of your labour just yet. But I feel like it's already started. You you have already started this healing. You, you know, you could have people around just hold your hand while you go through this. It could be a partnership getting ready to blossom. The seeds have already been planted. So at present, yeah, we've got the five, so we've got the wisdom. So you are going through life lessons. Fives are big changes, reevaluating things, looking over things, reevaluating your life. Where am I going? What am I doing? I've, it's time to come back into the present moment just for the next couple of weeks. Um, don't make any decisions, I kind of want to say, just yet. Oh, and then it comes out. So near future, movement, choices and decisions. So at the present, do not jump into any decisions, uh, especially within the next couple of weeks. And then near future, we've got movement, choices and decisions. So there will be a decision to make, but I don't feel like it's the right time to do it just yet. Um, I feel like this is where you need to contemplate. We need to sort the thoughts out of what is going to make you happier, uh, what is going to make you feel better about your life, what you're going to let go of. Um and then we make the movements, choices and decisions. So don't jump into anything, especially going around this um, full moon. I think we need to get past the full moon energies in order for you to gain that aspect. That clarity of thought, this, 
you know, you could be downloading some kind of information about this. So your power in this situation, choose wisely, yeah? This is where I'm saying do not jump into any decisions. He's sat there meditating, he's trying to decide which way to go. Uh, your power is to make the right decision. So again, do not jump into any decisions. So if you need to make a decision, try and put it off um, until after at least the 30th. Uh, I kind of want to say for the next two weeks, though, to be honest. So it is a seven. You will be guided towards making the right decision. Just don't jump into anything to share. Outside influence, we've got recognition and reward. So you're, like I said before, outside influence in my spiritual tarot, I always say is spirit. And you are not recognising the f the work that you've done you're not seeing the fruits of your labor just yet but you will because there's a movement choice or decision that's coming in that is going to free you from that and you will see the work that you've done you will see the hard work that you've done you, you know he's got his head down he's, he's not recognizing it the light is shining down on you the challenge is to accept that light it's to recognize the good that is going on around you and within you i feel like this is more within hopes or fears material and spiritual prosperity you want to be happy it's being able to look out over your uh what you've achieved you have sown those seeds in order to start to manifest something just don't jump into any decisions just yet because that is your hope you want to materially grow you want to spiritually grow it's nice it's nice just be calm within yourself so the, out the outcome is obstacles and challenges. You could step over that if you wanted to, but there's something stopping you. We've got two fives here, so big changes. I think it's your own thoughts. Your own thoughts are stopping you from moving forward. If it's to do with love, you, you're backing out. You, you're stopping yourself. Because I feel like that's what you need to let go of. The feeling of unworthiness or something like that. You know, it's So I want to clarify the two fives. The universe. So, number 21. We are going into 21 soon. The universe. So, endings and new beginnings. The world is your oyster. We're just waiting to crack it open and grab that pearl. I feel like you are the pearl. You're just not realising it. Victory and success. But you will realise it. You will be blowing your own trumpet. There is a major healing going on here. Within the decisions and movements and choices that you make. In order to heal yourself. So... You are so you have sown the seeds. You are on the path to learning this. You are moving forward. It's just about the decisions. We've got three fives now, five, five, five. So check angel number five, five, five. Throat chakra, communication. So communication in spiritual tarot, I always believe that it's with within spirit. So in order to rest your mind, then you can create you can get the information from spirit. Because if your mind's all busy and all over the place, they can't get through to you. It's also about being able to speak truth. And ha but I keep getting about self-talk as well. Stop putting yourself down. Stop putting yourself down. So don't jump into any decisions just yet. Wait until this energy is has passed within the next couple of weeks. The spiritual planet Neptune does go direct on the 28th. Um, so I think th things will start to go a little bit smoother after that. Um, it has been in re it's been in retrograde for four months and it is a spiritual planet so the last four months could have been quite turbulent and it looks like it's been affecting you in some way so let's get into the angel tarot and see what's going on so for Virgo so we've got another five now so you're hitting a lot of fives so you're going through major changes fear surrounding money the wisdom to accept help from others uncertain self-employment but it is the five of earth is about blocking out energy so you could be feeling blocked at the minute. You could be feeling blocked financially, blocked emotionally. You've got a lot of blockages. So the challenge for Virgo. The two of fire. Coming to your own. New partnerships or contracts continue to move forward. So it's time to get out of that blocked energy. It's time to unblock yourself. And that is what the sacrifice card is about. It's about to release those blockages. So you could... You could do doing meditations really about re releasing uh, blockages, you know, unblocking your chakras and things like that. Abundancy blocks, love blocks, whichever resonates with you. Uh, why is it coming around now? We've got the Eight of Earth. 
So life lessons, skilled work will be rewarded. Learn all there is to know about a topic, going back to school. Um, I feel like you're learning, you are the topic. You're learning more about you. It's some kind of karmic situation. We've got the King of Earth. So in the past, you are in your element. The King of Earth, a successful time, confidently accepts an opportunity you're offered. The Midas Touch. So something has gone better. Something something good has come in. Uh, finances could have got better. You could have got a new job. Um, you know, th there's some kind of opportunity that came in in the past. But for some reason at present, now you're all in your head. Yeah, we've got another five. You, you majorly going through changes. So this to me is my gossip card, but I'm not feeling it. I feel it's more inner chatter. Unwise choices, Look at, uh, learn what you can from the situation, review everyone's motives. So there could be people around you from the past that have taken the piss. They might think that you're rich. <laughs> um, learn what you can from that situation. Maybe you were giving too much in the past. And that's what you need to let go of as well. Maybe you need to give yourself as much energy as you've been giving to everybody else. Uh, you have got a lot of fives, so I would I would be checking out Angel Number the Fives. It's time to move on from that now. Near future, we've got the magician, so you could be going into dealing with an Aries, but it is about manifesting your own future. You are ready, you have the resources and the ability to manifest them. Life is magical. So it's to start afresh. I feel like you're learning from past mistakes. It's time to let it go and stop letting it linger. Your power in the situation is the Emperor. Could have a Taurus in your life. But it's about four. It's to get stable again. Organised, logical. Well, this is you, Virgo. Organisation, logic, stru structure, discipline, leadership. You know, it's it's about getting back on top of yourself, your own emotions, your, your finances. Outside influence. What's influencing? We've got two. The free of air and ego, devil energy, toxic energy. Great sadness, take time to heal, the need to forgive yourself and others. And we've got ego, false sense of entrapment, being overly focused on material things, negative or fear based thoughts. I feel like you've got someone around you who, like I was saying a minute ago, review everyone's motives. Like they might think you've got everything, like they come to you for money or something like that. They've got toxic traits about themselves, could be addictions, something like that. This person could have hurt you. I can't kind of feel like. Because they are overly focused on material uh, and negative thoughts and things. I feel like your outcome is to look after you for a bit. And it's to learn how to say no. Be the emperor. Learn how to say no. They have to look after themselves. Um, especially within finances. Hopes or fears. You've got another five. Big massive changes coming for you. I'll be checking five, 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 five. Um... Oh, so it's a fear. Things not turn out the way you'd hope, not seeing the positive in the situation, crying over spilt milk. So I feel at the minute you've gone inwards, all this energy is having an effect on you, then you'll soon realise it's not your energy. It's someone else's. You're picking up on someone else's energy. Outside. Oh, what am I doing now? Outside and flu. Yeah, see? So we could be dealing with an air sign. Your outcome is a page of air. It's almost like this person is going to get pissed off when you learn to say no. Challenging information, truth to live about tact. That you ended up with a throat chakra in the uh, psychic tarot deck. So it, it could be an air sign or it could be just like being impulsive. They could be impulsive, childish, immature, saying nasty things. Um, the Ace of Fire, you're moving on from that. An exciting new opportunity, change your life now, career advancement. You're moving on from that. It's like you're gaining some kind of fire. You're not, don't. Don't feed the vampire. Yeah, you make the go for the brand new fresh start. A leap of faith, follow your dreams, unexpected opportunity. So you've got two cards there saying, do not react to this person because you've got opportunities coming. So we've got the ace of fire. Focus on you. Once you learn to say no, things really start to change in your life. Uh, an exciting new opportunity, career advancement, change your life now. So you're changing things and then you've got an unexpected opportunity there. So there's a new opportunity coming in. I think all you need to do is learn the word no. So an energy card for Virgo. That was quick. What have we got? Oh, 11 upright, cornucopia. We are in the 11. I love the magic number 11. So let's have a look. 11 for my Virgos. Cornucopia, wishes fulfilled. An abundant harvest and great blessings are waiting for you. 
and you may even find all the wish all your wishes fulfilled. This cornucopia of gifts from the universe can come in the form of financial riches, job fulfilment, romantic love, or all of the above. When you receive the cornucopia upright, you know that you've done important work and it's about to pay off. The seeds you've planted in your energy and in your life are ready to be harvested in some significant way. Get ready for a great feast of abundant value is being prepared for you now and spirit is applauding all of your efforts. So that's really good. It really nice reading. Really nice reading. I feel like you're just picking up on someone else's energy and mistaking it for your own. So I hope that really helps. If you like um, the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. And I wish you all well. Bye.